Hello guys, Marcy here. I hope you're having a good day and I really hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to be packing, <laughs> so I'm so excited about flying and traveling and seeing my family, but not about packing. I don't think anybody's excited about packing. Anyhow, I wanted to share with you this altar book that I made for a friend of mine. And I'm not going to say who she is because she's for sure going to watch this video and I don't want her to know. So um, it's a surprise for her and I really, really hope she likes it. Um, I love it. <laughs> I actually want to keep it for myself, but um, I made it thinking of her and um, it's going to her. So what I did here, I, I had a book that I was hoarding for like ever because I really liked the texture of the cover and um the size of it so um what i did was i just added a frame one of those magnetic frames that you got at the dollar store i had two of them and um i added it here because i really really like how it looks it looks like metal but it's really plastic so it's not heavy and i just glued it onto the um cover here and then added two little flowers with two little pearls from a necklace that i had that um, broke and I've been using the pearls for my um, craft craft uh, la, la, la. yeah I can't talk sorry you can hear my manly morning voice with the allergies and everything but I feel I do feel better today I had um some pain in my eardrum I think it was um during the night but I took painkillers that um, are okay for pregnant women so um, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully, hopefully I'll see the doctor today and see what's up with that because I don't want to go on the plane with the ear, um, with a new infection or something. So, anyhow, um, so I glued this here because I got these at Michael's like two years ago or something and I never know how to use them and I hope they look good here. It, they look good to me. So, um, I add it here because I'm hoarding those. Um, I've been hoarding those for a while. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not going to hoard stuff anymore. Like, I feel like I'm going to hoard it, but I'm not going to hoard it. And, um, I'm going to try to use the ones that Anna sent me. That she and her mom crocheted. So, anyhow. And then I made this charm. It's not a big fancy charm. It just says, Hope, Joy, Love. And then it has a butterfly here and a little heart. And then this is hanging from it. And this was from a bracelet of mine that broke too. And I reuse everything that it's pretty. So anyhow, I know that Joey Love and Hope like, feel Christmassy. But I think everybody should have hope and joy and love in their life. Even if it's not Christmas, just because, you know, we deserve it. Love from our family and friends and joy from our everyday stuff you know and hope because it can always be better you know so anyhow so I did this with my tutorial that I did uh, with my little envelope I don't know if you remember the little envelope tutorial thing that when you flip it then it has like a flip out so I used the what size was it um the 11 by 11 size of paper so it's six by eight size of car and then when you fold it well you do the math so yeah so it opens like this and I left it plain on the in the front because she's a crafter too and I want her to do whatever she wants with it here maybe a photo or a page or a pocket I'm not sure I just left it plain for her I didn't want to overdo it so and here's the first page with the pocket, and I used on the bright side, from my mind side, and sunny side. So, yeah. And this is like a little booklet, and this is like a band here, and then it opens like this. And you just have, you know, little pages there um, for her quotes or, you know, whatever she wants to do there. And then this is... Um, this is one of the dies I own. I only own three dies, <laughs> but this one I really like, and um, I stuck that in here just in case she wants to have pictures or whatever she wants to do with that. And here's a pocket with a tag, and it's 
a fairly large tag, so she can add a picture there or whatever, or just journaling, you know. So there. And then you flip it, and you have a little photo mat here. Well, with a clip. And then two more little tags in here just for journaling or pictures. And then this pocket here, I didn't add anything to it because... Remember the picture of Nico? Um, wait, this one. <sighs> You can fit a picture here perfectly. Wait. It will fit in there. And I don't want to use up the space in case she wants to stick a picture like that, you know. So. Anyhow. I just left it. You know, all the second pockets are... The first pockets have tags and the second pockets are just empty. And they're the same tags, so I'm not going to pull them all out. So here I had to do my long leg bird, of course. Let me just check my phone. There we go, my frame. Um, so yeah, my long leg bird. That's like my signature now. I really love the bird. And this bird I got from the same paper collection. Like I saved a little bits and pieces of it. So um, I can cut stuff out. Like I caught the bus before and a bike. And uh, there was one of these that had birds. So... I used everything, everything, absolutely everything, and this is what I had left, so, yeah, and so the bird's there, and two more little tags, and then another place for journaling, then you open it, and you got this little kind of booklet, but it's got nothing inside, just I was thinking she could put wallet photos in there, or whatever she wants. She can even sew a signature in there and you use it for writing. So, and another one of these because I really like those. And I have to start using it more. That die. And another photo mat. Then you open and you have a place for writing here. And two more little taggies. And this one says nice. And a little photo mat there. And a place for writing here. And then another photo tag thingy. And then I kind of doodle on this envelope, and it's empty, so she can stick whatever she wants. And here's the buzz that I was telling you about that I cut from the paper. Oh, God. Here. So that little ice cream truck kind of thing I cut from the paper, and I just stuck it there and drew some stuff. So all, like, this little bits here and pieces are from the paper collection. I just cut them out from whatever I had left. So good way to use your scraps and what you have left from your um, papers so anyhow I hope she likes it I really did it with all my heart um, I wish I could send more but you know unfortunately I'm running out of everything um, I just refilled my ATG gun and that's the last uh, roll of tape that I have and on the other hand my corner chomper thingy broke this side broke, so now I only punch on this side because the um, half round corner thingy broke, so I can only do the one and a quarter, I mean the one fourth of an inch one, and then my bone folder, <laughs> um, the corner of it, Nico smacked it, like smashed it like this against the floor and he broke it. So, good thing I'm going to Florida and probably get these things in clearance because I don't even have any more. Um, this is my last roll <laughs> of score tape. I really need score tape and um, I'm going to see, like if you have any tips or where to buy it for cheap, like the um, shipping and handling and all that because these are my last rolls, you know, of these sizes, and I use these two a lot, this one not as much, only for covers and stuff, but these I use a lot, and this is what I have left, so if you have any tips on where I can get that for a good price, um, please let me know, and that's it guys, I hope you like my videos, I'm working on a really big project, um, right now, it's big because of all the work that goes into it. Um, I'm not big in watercoloring. I never done watercolor before, but um, I'm trying, and I'm, it's coming out really cool because I'm trying to make it funky, 
and cool and you know I'm making um, an album uh, journal book kind of thing for a swap and this is um, a really really cool project for me um, so hopefully when I'm done with everything um, I'll be able to to share with all of you but um, that's gonna take a while <laughs> so anyhow Thanks for watching, guys, and um, I hope you like my idea, and like I said, have an amazing weekend. Bye!